I wonder about your pricing power. Can you raise prices further? Yes, we, we have, uh, of course, significant headwinds from both um, raw materials and tariffs. But uh, for the second quarter in a row now, we've been able to fully offset those headwinds through pricing. And on top of that, we've been uh, quite successful in driving positive sales mix, meaning that we're, we're selling more of our more innovative, higher margin, higher featured products uh, in the market. So that's really supporting our, uh, our, our profit margins in the face of, of slightly tougher market conditions. How much have the uh, recently increased tariffs in the U.S. affected your business? Well, I think we've been successful in, in passing on those tariffs in terms of pricing, but of course that pricing in turn has the dampening effect on overall market demand. So, so that's, that's really what we're seeing. We're getting the pricing, but, but demand is a little bit softer as a result in, in North America. So are you saying then that your pricing power has been there but is weakening as you continue to raise prices? Is it, is it becoming a problem? Will you have difficulty raising prices going forward? Well, well, I think the overall, of course, there is prices elasticity in the market. So as prices go up, then, then volumes go down a little bit. That's an overall market phenomenon. But I would say our pricing power is strong, and, and, and our ability to raise prices and at the same time sell more of our, of our more premium, highly featured products speaks to, to me uh, to the fact that we have significant pricing power and innovation power in the market. What are the products that you think are, are the strongest right now for Electrolux? Where, what, are your, what are your rising stars? Mm -hmm. So we're, we uh, are rolling out now a global multi-door uh, fridge, uh, large, large capacity fridge that's doing extremely well. Uh, we're launching a new kitchen range uh, under the Electrolux brand globally, starting in uh, Australia and Asia Pacific. That's doing well. We're rolling that out heavily in, in Europe now in the third quarter. That's probably our biggest launch, launch of the year and, and, and really exciting. Uh, also, we're, we're uh, relaunching our uh, vacuum cleaner range with uh, a um, full-size uh, cordless vacuum cleaner that's really doing extremely well in the marketplace. So lots of, lots of exciting launches. Do you see an effect, and I'm looking at um, you know, air, small portable air conditioning units. I live in mm -hmm. Berlin. The Germans haven't really heard of air conditioning. Um, obviously, climate change is forcing many to actually look at it as an option. Are you seeing any effects on climate change in your business globally? Yeah, I would say structurally over time, more markets are now uh, buying air conditioners. So, so that's, that's, a, that's definitely a factor. Then if you look at this year in particular, uh, our biggest uh, air con market is North America. And there actually the season has been relatively slow this year. But overall and, and trending, I would say, yes, uh, the, the, the overall demand for air conditioning is increasing globally, mainly in Asia, but, but globally. What is your outlook for raw materials? Um, you, you said it's a, they've been a headwind. If I look at the Dallas Fed outlook for prices, it's actually come down. But obviously, you're a much more global business, not just worried about what's going on in, in Dallas or the US. What's your outlook for raw materials prices for the rest of the year? I would say it's, it's sequentially uh, prices are coming down, but still on a year over year basis, you know, contract to contract, if you will, we, we will still see some headwinds in the second half of the year. Uh, but, but as you say, the, the trend right now seems to be in, uh, clearly in a, in a sequentially downward trend. Let me ask you finally about um, the, the markets for you. You're planning to spin off your professional products unit. Mm -hmm. What's the progress of that spin off right now? Can you give us any update as far as expected timing? Yeah, the preparation work is going really well. The board yesterday reconfirmed the plans to spin off um, uh, the, the professional business. We're targeting first quarter uh, 2020 for, uh, for the public launch of the, of the, of the, uh, of the uh, company.